Hi, my name is Shitaj Mohan, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems. As users and devices are becoming more mobile, we are moving towards all wireless office. But failure at data center or core can have significant impact on services and application running on wireless. Keeping this in mind, Cisco recently launched Clan Stateful Switchover. This is the most advanced redundancy solution which offers zero downtime for CLAN devices in case of primary controller going down. To study this, we will demonstrate kitchen sink test. In this, we will have multiple devices and multiple applications running only on wireless. Let's see this in action. For the Cisco test setup, we have 255.8 wireless LAN controllers running latest 7.5 code and configured in active standby mode using CLAN SSO feature. To demonstrate multiple business application, we will be using Citrix video session on first Windows laptop, AirPlay mirroring using AppPad on Apple TV, Microsoft link call with desktop sharing on Windows laptop, and finally, active Cisco Jabber video conference call using iPad. Let's power off primary controller to simulate failover. Top right corner console window is showcasing successful switchover has been occurred in milliseconds and with minimum downtime for the applications and without hampering the client performance. Ruckus Wireless provides redundancy solution by using smart redundancy feature on their controllers. Let's see how this solution performs in kitchen sink test. For the Ruckus test setup, we have two Zone Director 3000 wireless LAN controller running latest 9.5 code and configured in active standby mode using smart redundancy feature. AP7982 is used to provide wireless access to all the clients. Top right corner window is showcasing console of standby controller to verify switchover. To simulate failover, let's power off primary Ruckus controller. As observed, Jabber video call failed and followed by Apple TV and then Microsoft Lim and finally Citrix video session. All the applications drop permanently except Citrix video which recovered after long 20 seconds which drastically impacts end user experience. As we just seen, Ruckus Smart Redundancy solution is not fast enough to perform quick recovery from failure which significantly impacts time sensitive and mission critical applications like Microsoft Link and Jabber. One of the reasons for longer application recovery time for Ruckus is that clients need to re-authenticate with standby controller. On the other hand with Cisco, client states are synchronized between both active and standby controller and so re-authentication is not required. As far as licenses are concerned, you don't need to buy extra AP licenses for Cisco standby controller. Whereas for Ruckus, you will need to buy extra duplicate AP licenses for their standby controller. As we seen in this video, Cisco delivers reliable wireless network by providing zero downtime for clients and application running on wireless devices. Thanks for watching this video.